So to create the logo, it's quite a simple thing to do. I'm going to go to the shape tool down here, and I'm going to hold and click, and I'm going to go to the rounded rectangle tool, and up here you've got radius, so that's the radius of the corners, and at the moment it's set to 5 pixels. So what we need to do now, if we click on the I over here for the info palette, and we need to create a box now, so I'm going to click on the line and drag out, and you'll notice it starts to create a shape. I'm going to hold down the shift key, and that will now constrain the proportions of that box. Now the actual size of the logo is about 70 pixels top and bottom. So as you can see now on the right hand side, the width and the height are around 70, so I'm going to let go. And that's now created me the, the logo. So again, we're going to move this into the middle of the header. So I'm going to just minimize this. So I'm going to select the logo and I'm going to select the BG layer. So now I want to make sure that this logo is directly in the middle of the header. So I'm going to go to these options again, but this time I'm going to go to this side, which is the Align Vertical Centers, and click on that one. And you'll see it now snaps in, so that's perfectly in the middle. So that's that bit sorted. So now we need to give this a nice colour, So because the black's a bit drab. So I'm going to double click on the logo, layer that is. And then again, I'm going to go to the gradient overlay like we did for the background. We're going to click on this color gradients here. And we need to change the gradient completely. So I'm going to click on the first color stop. Now the color for this is like a sort of light sort of blue. So the actual color, originally when I did it, I sort of came over here and just started playing around with it really and seeing what sort of results I could get. So the actual color for it is this. So I'm going to go into here. So it's going to be 4D D3 FF, like that. Click OK. And then we need to change this color stop. And again, the color for this one is 41C 4EF. Click OK to that. And again, OK to that. So we've added in the actual overlay. So the next stage is now to add in the sort of white curvy shapes that I added on top of the logo. Now to do this, all I really did was I went to the, I clicked on the logo uh, layer here, went to add a new layer, so that adds one above. And then I went to the text tool by pressing T on the keyboard. Now I'm going to change the font to the Allah font. And it's going to be the Allah bold font, so make sure you've installed the bold one. And all I'm going to do is click on the layer. On the, on the logo, sorry, and type in the letter C, like that. And then if I click away, so back to the Move tool, now all I'm going to do, make sure you've got the T, the, the text layer selected, I'm going to do Control and T, which goes into Free Transform, and move the actual uh, arrows to the corner, not on the corner like that, but off to one side, and then just click and drag, and you can now move the actual letter. If you hold, also when you're moving it, if you hold down the Shift key, uh, it will then lock into a straight position when you get to the other side and let go. Press enter, just nudge it over with the arrow keys slightly. And I'm going to make that a little bit bigger doing control and the T. And I'm going to hold down shift and alt so it can constrains the proportions. And now if I actually go onto the corner this time, click and drag, I let go and press the return key. So that's the first bit done. We just, now just need to create the inner C. So as you can see, it's quite a simple thing to do, just using the letter C, changing the shape, and making it a little bit bigger, with now creating a, an interesting logo. You can, you can like play around with it, it doesn't have to be there, you can move it to different places, try a different letter, you never know what sort of results you can get. So the next one is to add a tiny little C on the inside, so all I'm going to do is go over to the C uh, layer, and drag it down, and just put it onto the new icon, the new layer icon, that will now create a copy. So now, all I'm going to do is just do a free transform and make it smaller. So I'm going to hold Control T, and that now gives me the uh, this box here to, with the corners. I'm going to go on the corner, hold down Shift and Alt, and then click and drag in like that. Let go, and then press the Enter key, and then just use the, the arrow keys to nudge it up. So as you can see here, you've now got exactly the same logo that I made with a square with rounded corners and using the letter C. Uh, and just changing the orientation of it. So the next thing we need to add in is the tech byte next to the actual logo. So if we create a new layer, 
and then I'm going to go to the T, uh, press T on the keyboard for the text tool and then just click a little bit away from the logo because if you click too close it will select these C's uh, so I'm going to click here and I'm going to type in capitals tech byte now that's massive not so you can't see it because it's white so I'm going to do control A to select it all and then come up here to the white uh, color and we're going to change this color to the following which is like a sort of a dark brownish sort of color which is going to be 3D 3F46 which is down here and click on OK so that's massive so that's way too big uh, so we'll bring that down to about 36 and if we just click on the move tool in the top left and you can now see we've got that in position so I'm going to use my arrow keys just to nudge that down so just keep nudging that into a pretty much close position like that so the actual font weight of this text is actually going to be uh, regular and not bold so I'm going to go to the, uh, the text tool select it and change it back to regular you can now see that's a bit thinner now uh, also you need to change a couple of properties on the character palette so over here you should have this one here so it's got an A with sort of a line if you haven't just go up to uh, window here and then go down to character so I'm going to click on this palette here and we've now got some options for the text now at the moment there's a certain amount of space in between each of the letters now on the one that I designed I, met, I brought that letter spacing in slightly so the way to do that if you look here at this one where it's got AV and it's got like an arrow going one way and an arrow going the left that's the spacing in between that's the tracking in between each one so it's going to be minus 25 which just brings it in a little bit so it's not too far spread apart and then we can close that down and if we click on the move tool at the top left we've now got that in position so the next bit is to add the little bit underneath and we've pretty much finished the uh, the header so again if we go down here to the new layer so we've created that we we'll go back to the text tool and underneath here the actual text is going to be uh, in capitals again so it's going to be your tech news like that so I'm going to do control A to select it all and we're going to change the colour to a slightly lighter colour than the uh, the actual name of the website just to give it a bit of contrast so it looks a little, little nicer don't really give every all the text the same colour because it doesn't look right so the colour for this one is actually going to be 787D8B so the actual size we're going to bring that way down because it, it needs to be a bit smaller than the actual one above it like that so with this one in fact that's probably a little bit too small so we'll change this to about 22 or no we'll change that to about 19 pixels and then we need to go over to the character palette and we need to take the tracking back out this time we want to make it a bit wider so zero is normal but we're going to bring that out to about 50 like that and then we'll click on the move tool here in the top left now we just need to basically move these back into the correct positions so I'm just going to nudge that this way so I think I'm going to make the tech byte a little bigger so I'm going to double click on the layer to select it and I'm going to set this to about four, about 38 and then just nudge that down so I'm just going to nudge that up slightly to about here so I think what we need to do, I think this needs to be a little, a little bit smaller so that's easy enough to fix so we're going to click on the C here so it's the copy of this C we're going to select the C below it we're also going to select the uh, logo one here so that's all three selected and then we're going to do the following, we're going to do control and T now that takes us into free transform and we're going to hold down the shift and the alt key and click in the top right hand corner and then just bring the logo down slightly and then let go and then that's now brought it down just a tiny tiny amount and I'm going to move these now just over slightly by clicking on them if you, when you try and click on something then try and move it and you can't the reason is if you come up here to the top left there's an auto select option so it may be turned off to start with so you have to click in auto select and then make sure you've got the uh, drop down selected to layer so when you click on a particular layer as you can see here it jumps to that layer so if I click on the uh, tech byte one here and if you look on the right hand side now that jumps to that layer so I'm going to click on the your tech news move that over slightly and we're pretty much good to go so we've now added in 
So if I just collapse this down so, so we can see more of the canvas. So we've added in the actual background header with a gradient, a inner shadow. We've added in the logo with the C's as the nice little decorative effect. We've added in the tech byte uh, main header and then the sort of slogan head, uh, subheading underneath. So as usual guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe. Don't forget to click the annotation in the top right hand corner for the next video. And I'll catch you later.